This might be one of the most historical moments in Pokemon history. Not even a game release would ever top something like this, but rather a leak. Exactly one terabyte worth of leaks. What's up guys, it's your boy Franklin here, and today, or as of, maybe almost 24 hours ago, Game Freak ended up having a massive leak of information. A lot of this information has a lot to do with generations 3 through 5, obviously some beta sprites, and there's also some very interesting lore information of the origins of Pokemon, as well as spoilers for the current anime of Pokemon right now. And also there is some generation 10 information which I'm not going to go over in this video, but I might go over in a, another video because this information is still being compiled as of right now. The moment this video gets released or published, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to make another video in regards to that kind of stuff. But we're going to go over the generation 3 through 5 potential sprites that were leaked. So if you guys like this kind of stuff, please like, subscribe. That is the best way to support me. I am feeling a bit under the weather, so that's why my voice feels a little or sounds a little low in this instance. But here we go. Let's go over some sprites. I haven't seen anything, so this is all like first reaction for me. So let's do it. Let's see what we got here. Okay, so we got Generation 3 Beta Sprites. Uh, let's go over them. Let's see what's going on here. What the hell is that? Okay, I know for sure this is Flygon. I think Flygon needs some antennas there. <laughs> We're supposed to get some sort of polar bear. I guess that kind of makes sense because... Well, actually, no. Because Hoenn doesn't have any ice-like areas outside of, like, Shoal Cave. Um, what is this? Okay. Okay, it's Pelipper, that's for sure. What in the... Ain't that the Skull Kid from <laughs> Legend of Zelda? What the hell is that? Okay. Is that supposed to be, like, Polyrath, but, like, an electric version? What the hell is that? Kingler? We're supposed to have another crab Pokemon? Blaziken? Wait, is this Blaziken or Latias? I feel like this is a Blaziken because the way it's supposed to... The claws and the, and the feet. Interesting. It was able to fly. Alright. Don't know what the hell's going on here. Okay, I know for sure that's Hariyama. Trophy is. If you guys recognize any more Pokemon or you think you know what Pokemon they're supposed to be, let me know in the comment section. Um... Okay, that's... Alright, alright. What the hell is this? It's like a hippo. It's supposed to be like a beta of um, Hippopotas. What the hell, bro? What is that? <laughs> alright, alright. Okay, that for sure, Low Tide. Pretty much looks exactly like Low Tide. Shedinja. Lombre. Claydol. Actually, there's two sprites of Claydol. Interesting. We're supposed to have a squid. Do we even have a squid Pokemon in this? Oh, yeah. Well, no, we have an octopus Pokemon. We don't have a squid Pokemon in the franchise yet. It's supposed to be Sea Dot. Masquerade, because I know, because of the wings. Sharpedo with a tail. Interesting. I'm kind of glad they went with Sharpedo with that one. Don't know what this is supposed to be. If this is supposed to be an evolution of that, Carvajal. Okay, Electric, Manectric, yep. Mm, I'm not sure what any of these are. Wow, this bottom version looks like Nagan and Dell, but I feel like this is gonna be like a, a Beedrill variant. Interesting, this Pokemon has actual Pokemon on top of it. It looks like a, a rabbit. I don't know what that is, that's interesting. Uh, looks like we got some very weird uh, Pokemon here too. I can't really differentiate what those are. Okay. It's Makuhita. Looks like Makuhita. But then what is this? Got Clam Pearl, Huntail. Okay, Absol is right here, pretty much. I mean, that's very obvious. A Pokemon that looks like a tree trunk. My God, what is that? What is this? Okay. This looks like a very early version of Primarina. 
Okay, after looking at some of these uh, actual sprites, I'm very glad that some of these didn't come to light. So, phew. All right, the Swablu, the Net. Got a Peacock Pokemon. Do we even have a Peacock Pokemon? No, we don't. Trapinch, for sure though. My God, Donkey Kong would have been in this game. Crazy. We got Ninkata, we got Spoink, Grumpig. This looks a lot, just based on the face alone, it looks like a Swalot. Okay, okay, okay. Very interesting. We're supposed to get a whole ass dog in the game. <laughs> this looks like Vibrava. Oh, Vibrava. There you go. I pronounced it correctly. Uh, looks like a Nine Tails variant, but it's only one tail. Naruto. <laughs> so we get a Cyclone Pokemon. That's cool. We would have gotten a Cyclone Pokemon. Wait, no. This is Cast Form. That's supposed to be what Cast Form is, and then like the variants of Cast Form. Okay, that's cool. I actually prefer this. Instead of the whack ass cast form. Too bad cast form's a trash ass Pokemon. Relicanth probably. Not sure what's going on here. So apparently this Pokemon right here, people have been saying um this was gonna be Scrafty. Scrafty would have been a, a Gen 3 Pokemon. Very interesting. My boy got a whole ass brick as a home. Uh Grovile, and I don't know what this is. And so apparently these photos here, um, Based on the descriptions I've been reading, uh, it seems as if this is like the UI. This looks like the UI, honestly, a beta UI. And then obviously you see the Game Boy Advance and the UI, how it's supposed to be looking like. So that makes it very interesting. I kind of wish the Pokeballs were displayed over here though. That's pretty cool. And then we got the, obviously this seems to be the Gen 3 sprites. Trico, Torchic. Torchic looks pretty cool here. And Mudkip, very interesting that it's a rabbit. All right, nice. Then we got Gen 4. Oh boy, let's see what we got here. So we got Arceus here, Shaman. I mean, pretty much you guys know. Oh, Lickitung and Liquic. Very interesting. I no wonder this Pokemon can learn Rollout. That's why. Ah, okay, okay. Then we got the variations of Rotom. Um. These obviously, they're pretty much like what they're supposed to be right now. Honchkrow with the little mustache, that's cool. Weavile. You gotta understand as well, Weavile. There's some other Pokemon. Um, the reason why they were so hyped back then was these Pokemon got introduced in generations they were not supposed to. I feel like the first Gen 2 Pokemon that came to light in a Pokemon movie, I think it was either Togepi or Dawn Fan from like Pokemon. 2000 I think it was Pokemon 2000 they got introduced before the generation they were supposed to pop out but or Pokemon 1999 I don't remember which movie it was but Weavile was also one of those Pokemon that got introduced in the generation prior to its actual generation so pretty cool Giratina looks same what is this hmm it's supposed to be like a different version of Giratina or a beta Okay. Gallade, Scorpy, Drapion, okay, Lucario, Star Raptor pretty much looks like. And then we got some very interesting um, faces for the um, the gym leaders of Sinnoh, and then you got some Kanto as well, and the Elite Four of Kanto as well. Pretty sure this is a, an allude to Heart Gold and Soul Silver, and obviously we do see some Heart Gold and Soul Silver sprites there we got team galactic we got porygon family dark Rai, basically how they built up dark Rai. oh they're supposed to have a red slash instead of the white cloak okay that's interesting and the pawn chiru chirum shirubu whatever the freak that pokemon's called then we got more sprites here trainer sprites okay cool then we got Gen 5 Beta Sprites. Okay, what the hell is this supposed to be? I'm very intrigued. Okay, we got some weak ass mouse Pokemon. I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be Hydreigon family. Yep, 
because I do see the heads as the hands. You know, Cup Chew family. Okay, okay. <laughs> Simi Smear. Simi Seer, I should say. <laughs> right, that's pretty funny. Okay, interesting, interesting stuff. Uh, where's the black cat supposed to be? We got some starters here, of course. Sororo family. Okay. Shiny Victini. Bro, we still haven't had Shiny Victini. Where the fuck is that Pokemon at? Genesect. Yeah, I'm kind of glad they, 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 they sent that back to the lab. Ain't no way Genesect gonna look like that. Now, this is interesting. This looks like a... Damn. This looks like um, a Weather Trio Pokemon. So, like Landorus and Tornadus and um, Thunderous. Yeah, this, this guy looks like he gonna beat your ass after you lose your battle. Um, we got the legendary dragons. We got Dweeble. They're scraggy. Right here, we got the Swords of Justice. Uh, my my guy has no fucking sword whatsoever. <laughs> uh, everyone else does. Size and Toad family. Ooh, Carablast Evolutions. Interesting. I don't know what the hell this is supposed to be, though. What is this? Dude, I feel like I've seen this somewhere that isn't Pokemon. Some Invader Zim ass fucking creature right there. Um, Tortuga family. Titorga. I think that's what it's called. And there you have it. So there's Generation 5. Now, I'm probably going to split up this video, like I mentioned, into different parts that were released. Uh, there was some information in regards to Generation 10 leaks as well as some anime leaks. However, I am trending water very lightly because, you know, with leaks, there is some litigation. If these leaks were obtained illegally, there's a chance it might get struck down on this channel. Um, also, I'm, I am going to be monitoring other people's channels just to assume that nothing is going to happen. But, you know, there's always going to be unfair treatment. And, you know, me being a smaller channel doesn't necessarily mean I'm going to get the same treatment, of course. So, there you have it. Let me know what you guys think about these. Um, these are all on, you know, shoutouts to Central Links for posting these kind of stuff. Um, I don't know who's the actual leaker. I'm pretty sure they're hiding because they don't want Nintendo ninjas coming after them. But, shoutouts to them for leaking this. It's a pretty important day. Now, the reason why I'm saying it's pretty important is because... There's obviously, you know, keeping Pokemon hype, but also with all the leaks that are happening right now, we could see some very game changing or very franchise changing stuff. So let me know what you guys think about these leaks. It's your boy Franklin signing out. Peace.